It's like you have some people who are in my past. They move away your shoes there. I'm mean, going to tell you, I left it at your mother's yard. And you know that that's an insult. Them take it as insult. But guess what? Them don't know that it's, it's antagonizing and antagonizing when I'm about it. So move away your shoes there. Eh? And them know that move away your shoes and not wear your shoes. But them just, it's just that them do rasta for the next level. Rastafari survive and with their skill and a continue the journey of African redemption, African liberation. I mean, I for the African redemption part and African liberation because that was the reason why Rastafari start. Rastafari and the Leonard Howell start because the need and the necessity to liberate black people consciousness and mind out of the colonialism system and the white supremacy that plague us up to this day. We had to identify ourselves, our country, our leader. And this is how Ailes Lassie come. And this is how Africa come. This is a the ultimate black power movement a black power movement that have a spiritual nucleus and when i used to go to school and i hear about the black panther party and the black power movement it was a very politically driven movement in america we never get for Anderson as you that what is the spiritual connection because every African every African country that you go in it have a spiritual part of it and as you to go to school we never see no spirituality in the black power movement as a matter of fact most of the man them who used to move to black power was Marxist and Leninist and in the journey we see that Rastafari provide that spiritual move and it never make we lift the black power movement. All we do was just to know engraft that spirituality into the black power movement, just like where Leonard Howell do. So Rastafari is a black power movement that is designed to uplift and advance the welfare of black people. Thus, Ayla Selassie has the nucleus of its spirituality. Because black people lost them spirituality across the Atlantic Ocean and coming on here so into this thing called Christianity. This Western Christianity that give rise to some stupid superstitious things that has nothing to do with our African retentions. So now the black power movement has branched out that now we hear people redefining this black power movement but it is a black power movement i challenge anybody to tell me different rastafari is a black power movement designed to free and liberate black people out of colonialism and white supremacy people try to turn it around and twist it around like say it did come for the universe I even in the bible when i read in the bible and i realize that jesus said never come to save the world and him him come to turn mother against father and this and that and also him come for the last sheep of israel well you know leonard will when leonard will say i listen to last because we did that talk about the king of england he must say but we have a king and we have a kingdom we don't need the king of England and we don't need for them kingdom. You know, them put him in a Bellevue. As usual, them put everybody in a Bellevue who come with a different thinking and different thought. So only if a madman or madwoman rise up out of Leonard Owil and continue saying Rastafari Emperor is last the first and them couldn't get that out of the way. And them now get it out of the way still. 
but the movement of African people must be recognized because African people were the first people on earth. So no matter how long it takes, African people got to reclaim them glory. But in order to reclaim your glory, you have to know who you is. And who you are in the Gideon, in the struggle. And right now, you have some black people get lost in a day colorful, colorful world. <laughs> the colorful world that we find ourselves in. But Rastafari is a black power movement. Rastafari, the movement the name Rastafari is a black power movement. You know, Bob Marley have a tune about a black man redemption, whoa, whoa. no need to get bummy. It's a black man redemption. I, I should have found the tune too. Yeah, I should have found the tune. Black man redemption by Bob Marley is a very important music. Reiterating the argument of blackness in Rastafari where some people are trying to get out. If Rastafari now deal with the Africanness of African people, it, it not make no sense. You know, and if we try to change it into a universal concept, it not going to make no sense neither because the universal concepts them out there is just spirit with no body. And the political people them out there just body without spirit. Because some people are look for body, which is the physical, which is the political. And some people just are look for just spirit. Where Rastafari come show me is body and spirit in one. So when I look for just body and when I look for just spirit, when I look for dead and go to heaven, I say heaven is right here and now. If there is such a thing, speaking figuratively. But when we talk about liberation, when we say liberation, one must not confuse it. Well, when we say liberation, we talk about African liberation. When we say liberation, we are talking about African liberation. And when we hear you talk, when we talk about spirituality, we are talking about the African spirituality that defines us as a unique set of people on earth. So if I want to latch on to it, you know, when I say a man can latch on to it, you know. The problem is that when a man latch on to it, the people them who originated lose themselves and start going like the people them who latch on to it. Are we doing that? No man now come make me be turned no, no, no branch when I had a root from a long time. I had a root. It's like what I'm going to do the herbs, you know. Look how long Rastafari dead. Prison, in prison. Beaten, whipped. For this plant. I know some people are come latch on to it and I kind of ease out the Rasta man. The Rasta man can't allow himself to become no branch. That him is the root. So we're not going to make, well, I personally, I personally, not going to make nobody latch on and then come now, make me have to change my way of looking upon things. And at that, I see a whole heap of things that go on that way there with a whole heap of Rasta. Because he wants to appease. He wants to appease people and places and things. He start to reconstruct in philosophy. And in so doing, is not able to hold on to the authenticity of his concepts and ideologies. Because they don't have to compromise that ideology and philosophy. And when they compromise it, they water it down. Water it, water it down. And when they don't know water down, it's nothing. When they don't know water down. I want a man to know that. 
this is the time of understanding and how you understand yourself. It's very important. Okay, so we don't have pass that on because we, feel, say, we need to say it in light of where we have a player so now and in light of this week, which is the the memory of the Coral Garden um Carol Garden incident in in Montego Bay. It's last to say until the philosophy that all one race superior and another inferior. The man say until that day we Africans will fight if it is necessary because we are confident in the big job good over evil. So we have to fight, you know, because the philosophy that all one race superior and the other inferior is not black people philosophy. So I listen and say, know what him said. Him say until the philosophy. What is the philosophy that all one race superior and the other inferior? Racism, white supremacy. That is where all him say until is African people him are related to. He said, we Africans will fight because we are confident in the victory of good over evil. Until there is no first class or second class citizen, until the color of a man's skin is as of no significance. But we will fight until that day. We never stop fight and say, I hold up around and I say, yeah, we, we, we. No, 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 no. Because we not, we not have a twist and turn around the philosophy to suit what is happening now. You know, because we have visa and because we can travel and jump up on stage and sing, let's get together and be all right. And because we can walk with the slave master children we feel like the journey until done <laughs> and the until still exists not because we're walking with the slave master children if you look on the position the position of african people and in a smaller way of rasta if you look on rasta position right now and yes he said we still have struggle and those of us who recognize that struggle even harder because we want it's like almost you have to show say you're out of this thing you know because man will come take liberty with you because that them love to take liberty with rasta Remember when we used to bomb lift from Uchirios to Montego Bay, we are bomb lift. And when we are bomb lift, when I have a bomb lift, you know, we want to pay to, you know, and all. we are come from Negril to Montego Bay. And when we are come from Negril to Montego Bay, and we go so boom and wave down something. We have to be at the bus terminal to get drive, you know. Because no guy in our stop, you know. You know how much time, you know how much time. Me have to go up and the, in the back part of Volkswagen, when, when minivan was Volkswagen. And he used to lift up the back. And put luggage on the back there. You know how much time to me no want to sleep at OJ. On the roadside. Me have to just... Do with the luggage part and creep up behind it to drive while watching. You know what time me are coming with my little yacht and people are torment me. Where make you have the little picnic so? Where make you not call the picnic head? You know what time it out the half a tree road? And boss man say he is the dread. You can't come in and you hear I'm touch the people them. Me hear I'm gonna touch the people them. And you want to see the people them who me here have a touch to it all. 
them ear greasy and treat. Like what? Like it'll come out of some killer chap. Easy dread. You can't come here that one. You, know, you have to wait. You have to wait till the, the, the crowd settle down. It's pushing out the half a tree. You have to wait till the crowd. Because early man, everybody has got to work, you know. Nobody know how to pick up rasta man them time there, you know. You have to wait till the crowd settle down. That you can't get all that seat in the bus when nobody knows to beside you. As a matter of fact, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, old nigga dangerous because as a matter of fact, me stand up a man apart that day. Me stand up a man apart that day and I buy Milan from one man. We have a Milan thing there, so you know. I me see a bus a come down the road, you know, with the, the conductor swing up on the side of the bus, you know. I me see a bridge you know, come down the road without him never have no shoes and him locks kind of, like him just a locked, you know. And you see when the car, the car doctor slowed, the, the bus man slowed up, you know. You see when the car doctor looked on the bridge, he just lap the bus side, you know, boom. Because the youth had run towards the bus to jump on the side of the bus, you know. You see from him say, a O, him just slap the bus, you know. And the bus just drive off, let the, left the youth, you know, right? And me I say, me I say, in my heart, you know, me say, boy, me I tell you, things not change because a them thing that me used to go through when me live at Mobile. When we live at Kingston, that's them things that we used to go through. A man look by you and he say, you have no shoes, and he say, you lax. He say, no dread, take the next bus. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Yes. So, when we remember those things, and when we realize, say, a whole heap of things not change for Rasta to where it's supposed to be, we have to continue the struggle. Seriously, can't tell the struggle. We now bow and bend and scrape. That's why I say, I'm going to reiterate it, you know. Rastafari, true Leonard Owell, true Marcus Gave is a black power movement with a spiritual center that these black power movements never have when it starts. When Black Panther Party started, when they did have all the Black Power Movement in Jamaica, where they used to go amongst men. I don't call them names, so no, but I used to go amongst some hardcore Black Power man. We have planned revolution in Jamaica. Yeah. As I used to slow amongst them, I hear plans. But they never have no spirituality that define them as a people. And they will go amongst church people. And yet the church people them appear spirit them in but they never have no physical connection with the spirit. They might try to separate them spirit from them flesh. And they will come on some rasta. In a some hardcore bush. Where some of them can't even read or write. And we recognize that connection in a them man there. When the man them Tell you, say, you see the sun in the sky, and the source of all energy. Nobody, nobody tell you nothing about no Jesus. When the man them plant them food, that's the greatest, that's the sweetest thing about them. When they plant them food and seed come and grow. That man I go a bingy man just have a crocus bag of this and crocus bag of that, but can chop the bingy so just no bluff. Man cook for seven days, twenty-one days, so long I bring your chance, you man have born yes so from this or so today so. And now we see some man I come go on like say the until is finished. <laughs> Alright, like say until and him say, Well we're not have to say until again, you know, because you know we not have to fight again. And I let's like say I listen like to say Africa, I'm a Gideon, has passed. I interpreted that to mean slave trade, Atlantic slave trade, and other things them that infiltrate Africa and brought the people out of Africa, put them on them knee. And when I hear this, as I say, until the philosophy, I am interpreting, I don't know if you're next man, you know, I talk about I personally, I interpret that philosophy to mean racism, and white supremacy where there's a difference in the color of a man's skin and I and I create that you know 
We just create a liberation movement for freeway from the agony that has been created and placed upon us. So, we did that talk about how people are trying to move Rastafari from the black power principle to something where now go all. You know, a man just remind me a while ago, Silas so Lassie did say until African righteous people come together, the world won't come together. So we have to come together first. And that's the until me I talk about, you know. Africans have to come together. It's like your family, you know. You have to work with your family first. And sister, your family, all right. You know, if I, if, 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 if you're in a boat and it sink, and your feet, you and you your family depend on the boat with other people, your instinct show you say, you have to save your family first. It's like you watch football, and no, no matter which part Jamaica play, if you don't like the Jamaica team, you tend to want to cheer for the Jamaica team because you feel more connected to them. A black man and a white man are boxing, are boxing ring. Whether you know the black man or the white man, it's like you cheer for the black man, even though the black man can't even box. And when the black man loses, now then you start to cause and say, hey, the black man, you're an idiot, man. <laughs> you understand? But there's an instinct in you. So may I say, Rastafari is that instinct. We're supposed to rise up when you see certain injustice are going on. Not because no. We can afford to drive up and down and take plane and fly all over the place as artists or as whosoever we is. There is a need for a revolutionary spirit. Still, we need that spirit to awaken us to that black man redemption. We have to wake up. Somehow we are asleep. Some are really asleep and we forget easily. Black people forget easily. The things with the Jews, the Jews don't make you forget. The Jews don't allow you to forget. Rastafari I must not fall into that. Must not fall into that. We must not allow them to define us and use their logic to define us. So when you hear a man say, I listen to that, it's Jesus. You have to wonder where I really are say. I mean, you know, I wonder where I say still because you was at that level at the time, one time. Well, I don't know if I used to say, I listen to Jesus at no time. Not even in a 12 tribe, I used to say. It's it kind of lie, but when I hear people they say, even in a 12 tribe, when I was in 12 tribe, it kind of frustrates me when I hear it. I don't know if it's because I didn't move on some bingy man. You know, or I just I would never feel comfortable with this Jesus talk. But the definition of Eilis Lassie as it relates to redemption and the definition of Eilis Lassie as it relates to liberation is something that we seem to lose when I say Eilis Lassie as a redemption and a liberation. We are saying Eilis Lassie has some symbol of worship. So we just go on like, where the Christian them go on like I worship Jesus. So everybody I worship Eilis Lassie. And when I look to the redemptive elements and why Leonard Owell did Olan on Eilis Lassie, when Leonard Owell say, this is our Redeemer. This is our savior. It's a deeper thing than pie in the sky thing, where we talk about a deeper thing. So we have to look on the redemption, the redemptive element, and the liberative element of Rastafari as it relates to African people, redemption. Can't leave it out. Because all the spirituality does is to connect us to the physical and make the noise of where right now. Africa is a physical place. Our spirituality must be defined in an African context. 
that in a European logic, in African context, we have to define our logic in an African context. And we have to create our own identity. Now make no guy, no guy say, oh, you get that to be that. Then tell me something, I still have to create the world, I still have to this, I still have to... Some people fool fool and rank to, them rank sometimes too, you know. I come go on like say, you're yeah, idiot, you know. So tell me something, Mota. I, 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 I still have to create me. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's like you have some people who are in my past, say, Mota, where your shoes there? I'm mean, having to tell you, I'm mean, left it at your mother yard. And you know so that's an insult. Them take it as insult. But guess what? Them don't know say it's it's antagonizing them antagonizing when they my ball. So most of your shoes there. And them know say most of them have on your shoes and now we have no shoes. You know, but them just it's just that them do rasta for the next level. That them do rasta for the next level. Continuously. Me remember them used to torment me about my little daughter. Every time them see me. Jesus Christ, look what the boy do to the little picnic head. I mean, I do not do I hear it up. We just make it grow naturally. I want mean, to realize that when you comb somebody head, and you are do something to head, when you make so, when you make a, a little picnic ear lock, I know you do something to it. And nature do something to the picnic ear. Why it looks so? When you cut off and trim up and trim up, and you are do something to it. So when a man look for me, you know, and I say, look what you do with the picnic ear. Me never do nothing to their ear. Me never do nothing to our ear, me just make it grow. Me just make it grow. It's like them, Babylon have the thing, it's not even Babylon, men and people have the thing wrong side. Them have it so wrong side that it's not funny. Them have the eyes and that thing with them ear. And I ask you now, look what you do with your picnic ear. Me never once, once put a comb in my picnic head. Not once. Me just make it grow. Just like how I make my ear grow. And people have these, them scan you, them do all sorts of things. They think they're going to forget them thing there. Eh? We may forgive, but we're not going to forget. This hour that they call Holy Thursday, it was that time I reached Barnet, 14 Barnet Street. When I reached there, Buster Monte start to gather soldiers and police in a abundant to search for Rasta. When I reach the station, I see a bulk of people. Rasta, and who is not Rasta, is there. Beating is going on from all angles. Mm. They have a long was that they turn on, use and to water the place there. Mm -hmm. So it have a piece of high and down here, and it have a piece up here where it's going on the, the pipe. So, them turn on the pipe now, and the water running through the woods. And them put us down, to kneel down, in a gutter way, and start to beat. With the hose? Yes, with the hose, and big stick, and all different types of... What, so, they turn on, what are they doing with the water? The, when, they, when them lick you, and the blood starts flow, them, them turn on oh. the water, and wash with the blood. What a wicked act. At that time now, Buster Monday never come down. Thursday now, Friday morning, which is the time of crucifixion, that was the man to come the, down. The good Friday for them and the bad Friday. Yes, and the bad Friday yeah. for her. Yeah. Was the man to come down now with a battalion of police, more police more than soldier, and them start to beat. And them have a... a beating in front of Boston now? Right, right in front of... Right in front the of... The Prime Minister witnessing the beating? Right in front of Boston Monday. Who the beating? Please? Was just any, everybody that get beaten? Everybody who is inside getting beaten. You have nine cells run by 14 Barney Street. And from the first one to the ninth, it's packed with people. And people still coming in. So as you come in, you start to get beaten from both sides. Soldier here, police here. Who no butt you, box you. Who no kick you. Them do every type of thing to us at that time. But the man who was there, and he said to them, say, Beat them, beat them, and let them say, Rastafari, 
and Babylon stand. And if I don't kill out Rasta out of Jamaica, God should blind me. So you heard on Buster Sir? I heard that with my ears, Sister Annie. Bunga Frank, you heard that with your ears? I hear? heard that with I my ears. I ask you this, Bunga Frank, because we hear this all the while. I and at first, we are talking to somebody who actually hear it with them. I heard ears. that with my ears. Yes. Empress Angela. Tell us what I'm saying again. Buster Mandy. Tell us what the Prime Minister said. Buster Mandy is the Prime Minister. He has on a cream surge pants. A striped blue shirt with white background. He has on a red, a black water boot. And the bottom of it red. He has a 22 in his side. And him say to, to the police them, anywhere you see one or two, bring them in, dead or alive. And what? 14 Barnett Street cannot hold. Borg will hold them. And Borg is a cemetery. Yes, ma'am. So, while we were there now, I witnessed the cell that I was at, number one cell. 35 person in one cell. You cannot lay down, you cannot sit up. You have to stand on one foot. And when that foot tired, you stand on the other one. 35 person in 35 person in one cell. And that cell can't hold about how much people? It can't hold more than about 20. Uh, 35. So you have to stand up one foot one. at a time. And How long you stand up like that in the cell? No, you can't stand up no long time, you know. So you have to stand on the foot and ease it and stand on the foot and ease it. The man who sit down, if he get up, he can't go back at that space. The man who stand up, and if he tries to get a seat, he can't find by the same space the part him come from. What's the man to take us out? And he tried to transfer us from 14 Barnett Street to Anuva, the barrack prison. I was there for three months without trial. And beaten in every one of the stations that you go to. No mercy, never sure, to Rasta mm -hmm. at that time. Buster Monty look upon the people and say, Buster say, if him don't kill out the Rasta people and Ganja out of Jamaica, God was blind him. So that time now, we were, the massacre was too terrible to talk about. For there was no one who don't feel pain. If you have the smallest piece of beard, you're going to get a bean. And if you're going to a barber shop, and you are not a rasta, you're going to a barber shop and come out, and the policeman see you, and she say, you just trim. You're going into jail. Mm. And say, you want to trim to hide yourself. Mm. So at that time, Empress Andrea, we were, I can't tell you this time, I it hurt so much that mm -hmm. I feel it in mm -hmm. all my heart. I see it on you, my brother. I feel I it see in it all you, my father. I see it on you, my father. It's the judgment to put oh, the land. Fire, oh, man. God. The big man of all, man. Look here, man. Fire, I. Blessed be the God of Jacob, oh. who lives forever and forever. What a nasty guy. Jah Rastafari. Big man, I break down and I cry on the way to the end. Let's see what I go on here, son.